Hey you guys, so today I have a couple of projects to share with you. So um, first of all, I am going to be going back to Disneyland um, this Thursday, Friday. And so I'm going to do a Disney Smashbook share. I've been working on it here or there. I haven't been on it like daily like I used to. Um, I did get a job like a month ago, so I don't know if that's how long my last video was. But so I've been kind of like working on scrapbook pages, uh, smashbook pages, and just kind of spreading it out with each other. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is um, just a custom t-shirt that I made with a Walmart t-shirt that I bought for me and my loved one. Um, so we are going to be matching. So I kind of just wanted to do something different. Um, we bought, or I bought, a um, Disney t-shirt where it had the Mickey Mouse hands um, doing rock, paper, scissors. So um, what I did was I bought some Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. See that? Um, Ultra Hold, and it's the No Sew by Thermoweb. And I got one of those, and it was like a, one yard, and it still has a bunch left. But I also bought some red and white fabric. And this is his t shirt, but this is how the front looks like. So it has Mickey's hands, and it does um, rock, paper, and scissors. Just like that. And so for his, what I did was I put her Mickey and I um, traced out, um, I had a template and I traced it onto some fabric and then I cut it out and I used the Ultra Hold Heat and Bond to stick it onto the shirt. I also did a Mickey Mouse um, shorts and I just sewed on some buttons with some um, embroidery floss. And then for the letters, I hand cut them myself. I just drew them with a pencil on the fabric and then that's how that turned out. So it just says her Mickey. And then for mine, I cut it into a tank top. So mine has like less fabric on there, but this is how mine looks like. So let me just take this out. So I made it into a high-low, so you could see that my stitching is here, but it's shorter in the front and longer in the back. And so the front stays the same. Um, this time it's going to have no sleeves, so it's going to be a tank. So let me turn it sideways. Looks like that. And the back it's going to be like this. And... Um, this is how mine looks. So it says his mini. And then for mine, I what I did, this is coming out there, um, for my hands here, for the heart part, to make it more girly, I put sequins on there and I used embroidery floss in yellow. And then for this, for the bow, for the polka dots, I did some sequins and I used some yellow embroidery floss as well. Hopefully you could see that. Let me see here if I can get it for you. There you go. And so it just has little yellow polka dots in the middle. And to outline everything, I just use a black tulip um, felt, or not felt, but fabric um, 3D glue. And that was it for the t-shirts. I also um, I have a bucket list for Disneyland, so I have things that I want to do um, before my annual pass ends. But I guess my loved one wants to upgrade it again, so I'm not going to have to worry about that. But... One is to get all the autographs, like how when you're little and you wanted to get all the Disney autographs um, in a book. That's one of my goals on my bucket list. So I made my own little envelope with the vellum. I showed this in a haul video um, a couple weeks ago, I believe. And I just made an envelope out of it. And I just put my bucket list. So I have a couple pieces of paper here with just writing on it about the things I want to do and this is my bucket list number two so I bought this from the Dollar Tree store and I decorated it myself so I already had the felt heart stickers and the polka dot felt stickers um, the only thing I bought was the scrapbook album it's a felt scrapbook album and the pages are actually really thick so I mean they're very thick so I thought that was really good for a dollar um, I just used some trim that I had and some 
craft colored foam and what I did was I traced a die cut piece um, that was a Mickey Mouse head and I cut that out and then I put the polka dots on top and then put a bow on there and used this like it was a skirt and this is going to be my autograph book. So I did some watercoloring for my title page and it just says Buc Disneyland bucket list number two and says get most of the Disney characters autograph. And I did some watercoloring with um, a straw, just putting dabs of color and using my straw to spread it out. And I did some splattering, and I just put a motivational quote, just so that way it can motivate me to get them all. And it just says, if you can dream it, you can do it. So that is for the autograph book. One last thing, thing are my shoes. So I just bought these from Walmart for like five um 40 something like six bucks almost and they're just some white comfortable shoes I made um, Buzz Lightyear and Woody shoes um, but this one's going to be more of like a plain one so what I did was I just took some let me see here if I can brighten this up for you um, I just took some buttons and what I did was um, first I had some ribbon which is polka dotted ribbon and I tied it into a bow and then I sewed the bow down first and then what I did was I tied using that excess um, thread that I have I tied some glitter um, let me see if I can get this there you go I just um, put a glitter button in the center okay so those are for my shoes so I'll probably um, I don't know if I'll post the outfit of the day here but I'll probably post one on my Instagram that I'll post down and the description bar as well as my blog. Um, I might make a video, I'm not sure. I might do a vlog or something like that, but that's pretty much my outfit for Disneyland. And so the next thing that I'm gonna do and the last thing is gonna do my Disney Smashbook. So this is my Smashbook and it is getting bigger. So yay, look at how thick it's gotten. So uh, I marked all the pages with the post-it to show you, um, the, or just so that way I know which pages are done and that I haven't um, put through my, um, or my last share video. So let's get started here. The first page is going to be my, I posted this on the Smashbook Facebook page but um, for those of you that don't go on Facebook or anything like that um, this is going to be my princess and the frog page so again with the information I'm not going to just read the information for you but I just put everything about um, the princess which is princess Tiana and um, I had some die cuts again from EK success that I used um, I made my own lily pads from the pattern paper that I bought from Michaels that came with the frog here and um, also this frog down here and then um, with these flowers I just took the white flowers that I showed in my haul video a couple weeks ago as well and I used some watercolors to paint them um, purple I stamped a couple of paper or not paper leaves but I stamped some leaves with some coordinating colors with like recollections inks that I just bought and I use um, some of my thickers and basic gray stickers from my stash. And these ones are Amy Tangerine, that's all I remember. And then these ones are the JFK by American Cross. I know that these ones are by basic gray, but I'm not sure where or how long ago I got these from. So I um, can't really tell you that. But I also inked up some white cardstock with the coordinating colors from the leaves. And I punched out some hearts. And then that's it for that page. Um, the next page is going to be Alice in Wonderland. So here I just had a pattern paper and I cut her out. For the background I used a stencil by Doris and I used um, three different colored paints. And I made a background so I just um, used a sponge to get this uh, image on there. And I did it for both pages. And then what I did was I cut her out and I pasted her here. And I took um, my wood veneer butterflies and I made it 
go, sorry about that, made it go to the next page. And what I did was I stamped it with some swirled, like, um, stamps that I had. And I just did it with some coordinating colors, and then I put, like, a gloss finish, which is a gloss varnish. Pretty sure I showed you this in a haul video. Um, I mean, it did make the ink smear a little bit because they are, um, some inexpensive inks. So, I mean, I actually do like it. I don't really mind the whole messiness to it. So I made it look like the butterflies were holding the um, letters to spell Alice's name out. And the way I did that was I just used some die cut letters that I had left over and I just um, painted them with some gesso and I actually liked how the white looked on top of this so I didn't do anything else to it. I made my own vellum envelope, I just used some clear vellum and then what I did was I just took some of that pattern paper that I had from her. Um, that I cut her out of and I just use it to cover up the glue that I used on the sides here. And I made my own little cards because in Alice in Wonderland there were like little cards or whatever and so what I did was I took some heart stamps and color or stamped them with some variations of inks that kind of matched um, Alice in Wonderland with the pattern paper that I actually had and I did um, I stamped with this stamp that I have by Recollections, the knife, the spoon, and the fork because of the ta the dinner table that they had, the little tea party they had. Um, so to bring that in too with the tea party, I also stamped the little um, tea cups down at the bottom with some black memento ink. And I made um, an insert, which I will take out here if I can. So this is like an invitation for the pocket. Um, I stamped three chairs because of the tea, um, the little tea party that they had outside. And it was outside, so I put some grass so that way it kind of shows that it was outside. And I put some clouds using that pattern paper that um, Alice was on. Let's see if I can get that. And then I just put your invited. And in the back, I did some embossing with some green embossing powder. My recollections and I just stuck a um, sticker that I got from Joann's that has Alice on it so that's it says for Alice and then these I know that there was some kind of weird snails or something like slugs on in the movie I haven't seen it in a while but what I did was I just stamped those as well and this was from a Fisker's birthday stamp set all of these so that's where I got the date the time the place RSVP and it's, um, the, it's a tea party. I actually cut, um, uh, the stamp in half, and then I put it's A, and then I just put a teacup in the middle and a party, so that way it's a tea party, or a teacup party, doesn't matter. But that's how that looks. So it goes in there like this. And then in he right here, hopefully you can see this, um, I just have a little booklet that I made. Um, it's information about some of the characters that are in the movie. So there's a flap here using some brads and um, some little die cut pieces that I have from an old paper stack. They're just like little washers or washies, whatever they call them. <laughs> I think they're washers. And I just stuck, um, punched a hole with my Fiskars hole punch. I believe I used the one eighths hole punch. Put some brads through and then kind of holds that down. Um, when you open it, hopefully you guys can see this. Let's see here. So when you open this up, you um, are going to be seeing just some stickers that I had. So this is the white rabbit. So I put a clock die cut because he's always saying I'm late for I'm late I'm late for important very important date I believe and then this one is the cat which is Chester I believe yeah Chester the cat or something and his glowing eyes so I just use a one inch circle punch a five eighths or something yeah I think it's a five eighths circle punch and a quarter inch circle punch and made his eyes. This one, um, these are the twins, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and I use the buttons because they say button, but it, button, who's got the button. I have the Queen of Hearts, so I made my own little cards here. I use 
different stamps. I use a dollar stamp, I use Fisker stamps, I use a whole lot of stamps. And I just stamped on here a Q with just the letter stamp that I had. Um, the next one is going to be Mad Hatter. I actually didn't finish this. This is why it has one of these little pink post-its here. I use these to say that I still need to do some writing on it or have to finish the page. So that one's not done. And then the last page is going to be Alice, which I've already finished. So the only one I need to finish is Mad Hatter. So I'm just going to tuck this under here. that page and I believe I showed the Cinderella page but it wasn't finished so um, this is how it looks so I already did all the writing inside um, and so this is the writing here then just has Cinderella this is the front piece here that you can use as a flap and then I already showed you this part right here I believe with the dazzles that I have okay the next one I actually haven't finished but this is about to be um, about cars here. So you can see I already adhered down all these little postcards uh, except for the characters. So I'm gonna make like a flap or something. Hopefully I could do like a video maybe. I don't know. But uh, I have a piece of black card stock that I might make into like a flap, like a little booklet here. And I just sprayed it with some uh, Color Shine by Heidi Swap with the tinsel. Just to give it more of that boyish like car type look I guess. <laughs> the next one is going to be, I believe I showed this one, I'm not sure, I should have looked back, but this is uh, about Beauty and the Beast. Um, so I don't know if in the last video I showed you, I just did my journaling here in the corner. I used dazzles, a lot of dazzles here on this page. Um, again I used those white flowers. And I just used some Victorian Velvet Distress inks to paint that on, again, just die cuts and layering and everything like that. So that was that page. Here is Pluto. So, um, I don't know if in my haul video I showed you guys, um, what I've got. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this is what I got from Disneyland. So when I went that last time, when I did my Smashbook um, video, I bought this from when I went. And um, it has cute stickers and die cuts and coordinating papers of like Mickey Mouse and Pluto and whatnot. And so what I did was I used some of the stickers and I used the signature one to put on Pluto. And I also did Minnie and Mickey, but I won't be showing you that. Um, and again this was a simple page I just did the whole three photos of the different poses that he had I used some of the EK Success um, die cut pieces these are just some letters that I grabbed from Big Lots that I've had in my stash so I finally used them this is some Halloween paper in the back as well as these two pieces here by Kane Company um, and this was a die cut from that um, scrapbook set that I had and then I just made it into like a tag kind of for his little neck piece there. And just again some information right onto that green piece and the blue piece. So that was it for Pluto. Then I also have Tangled. So this is Rapunzel. And so um, for this one, sorry if you hear talking in the back, I have my grandpa over. He's gonna, um, he's actually visiting and he's gonna be going back to San Jose. So, <laughs> um, sorry if you hear all this, all the talking. But this here is um, about Rapunzel. So I had some pattern paper here, and I cut her out. I put Tangle there. I decorated the tree with some purple flowers that were actually in her hair from the movie. And what I did was I cut, punched out quarter inch circles and put some glitter onto the circles um, with some glitter glue, glue to make it look more pretty. And I thought that this page was perfect for her because she loved the outdoors. So I put that one and it says, um, it says for beauty to grow, uh, we must, <laughs> sorry, we must nourish it with inspiration. And for some reason that kind of made me think about her, Rapunzel. So 
from the movie at least. So this is how it looks and I made this into a flap. This was um, some of the patterned paper here and I love it. It has like the um, glitter, I don't know if you can see that, and the shine to it. And the paper isn't really like cardstock feel, it's really like, it has like a soft feel to it. But I put Rapunzel and the way I did it was I used some yellow, like bright yellow basic gray stickers. And what I did was I painted it pink and then I used some, because the stickiness went away from painting it, I used just some Scotch quick dry adhesive and I put um, some glossy accents on top of it to make it look a lot nicer. So hopefully you guys can see the shininess on the letters. And I made this into like a flap, so I haven't done any information here. So as you can tell, that little pink post-it note there. Um, I used a scallop punch to go and make this, the water, like the waves. And um, it's by EK Success. I believe it's like the large, it's not a scallop, but it's like an embossed curve. That's what it's called. Embossed curve. And I used some mint green um, Heidi Swap color shine to just give it some of that shine on the turquoise paper. So the paper, the cardstock was already turquoise, but I just added some more by adding some mint green spray to it. Um, here I just used some tape that I have, just some white tape, and I put, and at last I see the light because she's been wanting to see the light. So what I did was I drew out and cut out my own little boat here, and I put her little friend, her little dragon, <laughs> chameleon, whatever it is, friend there, and I made my own little lanterns, paper lanterns that they were lifting up um, in the sky. And I used some um, red, I believe, no. That's pink cardstock and some yellow cardstock, and then I used the color shine in sweet cherry and in mustard to go and give it that light, bright, shiny look for the lights. And then I um, edged all the edges with some yellow and red ink. And I don't know if you can see, but I used my embossing um, tool to give it some lines, so that way it kind of gives it some dimension. I popped them up with some dimensional adhesive. And then I used some just coordinating paint, and I used some purple as well to just make little dots so that way it looks like there's some more um, just in the air already. And then again, I just have a die cut of her over there in the corner. And then that was it for that page. So if you can see that. I think I have one more page, no, two more pages left. So the next page is going to be about Donald Duck. So this is his page. So again, I used um, the little poses he has. So I had two poses because the other one had green on it, but the green was too dark, so I didn't use it. But I used the two poses here, and then I used one of the die cuts from that AK Success um, set. And then again from that scrapbooking kit um, from Disneyland, I put his signature. Um, and then right here, um, there was already numbers there, but from that scrapbooking um, kit, it came with some letters that coordinate with Donald Duck as well as numbers and I used the numbers and just covered up the ones that were written on here. It says I'm awesome because and then I numbered it 1 through 5 and just wrote a couple of things there. Um, and I thought this page was perfect for Donald Duck because he's so selfish and he's just so all about himself and everything like that. So I also, with a die cut piece, I don't know if you can see here, so I put Donald, those are the stickers that came with that um, scrapbooking kit. I made it into a pocket so that way this slides out. And then there's more information on there. So that's for the Donald page. And then for our last page, it's going to be about, um, and my stickers keep going up so I might have to glue those down with some glue but this is my Winnie the Pooh page so I did about Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet because those are like the main characters so um, hopefully you guys can see this I'm not gonna have lift it up unless I have something to show you but actually I do so for the letters I just used the these um, die cuts that I had and I traced them onto some patterned paper and what I did was I just cut them out and then I used my 5 8 circle punch that I got. It's like a dollar circle punch from Michaels and I just made like a scallop on each side. So for like the E here, I did it all around the edge and then for the um, 
peas I put it on the side and then for um, Tigger I just put it on the outer part too. And then I kind of just made my own little die cut pieces for these. So for Eeyore I made my own little bow, colored it in with thick markers. I colored all of these um, little pieces here next to the names with thick markers. Um, for the kite I just use a little bit of black twine. Um, my dad is an uh, a aircraft mechanic so he I actually saw this and I asked him if I can have it and it's like a huge thing of just like black thread and it's like really thick thread so like I don't know if you can see it it's not even like sewing thread but it's like perfect for like scrapbooking and just like giving things texture so I thought that, that was really nice so I used that as a string for the kite. I made my own little bows. Um, for Tigger, I just made these like little arrows pointing up because he likes to go on his tail and jump upwards. So I kind of made a Tigger pattern or like a tiger pattern onto the arrows and colored it orange. Um, for Winnie the Pooh, I made a what is Winnie the Pooh without honey, right? So I just drew. Let's see, see it there. Um, honey, just a honey pot here. What I did was. I cut just the little honey, dripping honey with an X-Acto knife and I popped it up with some pop squares. And that is all. The rest was all just some information about Winnie the Pooh and his little friends. And that's all the pages that I've done and the projects that I've been working on. So hopefully I can do another share sometime um, after I'm done with Disneyland and whatnot. Or maybe do a vlog and let you guys know how my Disneyland trip went. Um, I also might just post maybe my outfit of the day or something like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed my share for my Smashbook as well as my custom made t-shirts and my autograph book and my shoes. And I can't wait to make another video. Um, I'm glad that I can get one in before I go to Disneyland. And thanks for watching. Bye.